Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I also think we should start with a definition. Let's define religion. It's a controversial term. Not everyone's going to agree on it, but most uh, encyclopedia definition, and most, most people agree that belief and reverence in a supernatural being or force should be included, as well as a given moral code, a sort of how to behave, often but not necessarily through man-made institutions. Um, so how would the world be better off? How would have the world be better off once without religion? No Mayas or other religions thinking human sacrifices would be a good idea to praise God. No crusades over a desert. Uh, no Catholic Inquisition. No burning witches or women who were just pointed at to be witches or people who didn't believe that the earth was at the center of the universe. People wouldn't have thought when the plague came to town Let's kill some Jews. That's definitely going to help. Um, religious wars throughout Europe between Calvinists, Lutherans, and Catholics. But on the other hand of the panel, they would probably say, but today religion is a different force. Uh, today, still, Saddam killed between 50,000 and 100,000 uh, Shias in Iraq during, just after the Gulf War. We wouldn't have a conflict between Palestine and Israel. No partition of India between separate religiously different countries. 9-11 uh, wouldn't have happened and Bush wouldn't have gone into a war with God on his side as he claimed in the first speech after the attack. <laughs> Boko Haram wouldn't be killing Christians in Nigeria. Danish embassies wouldn't be attacked around the, the world for a comic strip. Bosnian genocide of Muslims wouldn't have happened by Croats and Serbians. The army of God in America wouldn't be bombing gay bars and uh, abortion clinics. Female genital mutilation wouldn't continue in 28 African countries. 92 million girls, over the, women over the age of 10. Alan Turing, math mathematician and uh, cryptologist who helped against the Nazis in World War II, wouldn't have committed suicide because given the choice between castration and life in prison. This was in 1954 in Britain. John Lennon wouldn't have been murdered by a religious fan fanatic, just for some music. Eunice Shaikh would not have been sentenced to death in Pakistan for blasphemy. In, this is in 2001. Abdul Rahman would not have been sentenced to death for converting to Christianity in Afghanistan. But on the other side, we often hear, so where, where are we going to get our morals without religion? Well, here's where we're not going to get it from. We're not going to get it from the Old Testament, where God wipes away the human race because he's not pleased with his creation except for Noah's family and two animals of each species. He wouldn't have just killed everyone in Sodom and Gomorrah. There's an interesting story before he kills everyone in Sodom and Gomorrah too. He goes to warn Lot that, ev that two angels go and warn Lot that God is going to kill everyone. The pe people of Sodom, guess what they want to do? They want to sodomize the angels. And Lot says, no, not the angels, sodomize my daughters. The Ten Commandments, are they really such a guide for moral conduct? The first three are about loving God, and God is a jealous one, and he really, really likes to be loved. The other six are admittedly important, but uh, no equality, no human rights. Honor thy father and thy mother, should Joseph Ritzel's daughter honor her father? The New Testament is often said to be much better, but is it really? Like it's been said before, the doctrine of original sin and redemption. We're all born sinners. We don't choose that. And if you don't accept Jesus Christ, you are going to hell. But let's not just bash Christianity. Islam also says God will not forgive those who serve other gods. So this is also an important feature in religion. Love this God, not the other ones. Preaches also that women should be obedient to their men, a sort of a subjugation of women towards men. Some Sunnis have said that jihad is the sixth pillar of Islam. The other five are not uh, moral teachings, it's just Ramadan, pray, um, pilgrimage to Mecca, not morally essential stuff. But then what will teach us why would we do good if there's no, uh, no greater good or punishment? First of all, I think that's a deplorable moral stance. If you only do good because either God's there looking on you or because you think you'll get something better later, I don't think that's as uh, morally right as someone who does good without a reward, someone who doesn't believe and just does good for respect to other human beings. That note, I'd like to close from a, with a quote from Marcus Aurelius, a Roman philosopher. 
So live a good life. If there are gods in there just, then they will not care how you devout you have been, but they'll welcome you based on the virtues you've lived by. If there are gods but unjust, then you should not want to worship them. If there are no gods, then you'll be gone, but you have lived a noble life that will live on in the memories of your loved ones. If I still got a couple of seconds, I'll also address the Stalin thing. Um, Stalin didn't commit those crimes out of atheisms like religious terrorism. Terrorists commit them out of religious belief. Thank you.